A, these protesters say they were not disrespectful last night. They were nonviolent. And this kind of civil disobedience is what they need to know to tell people and the community, especially, this fight is not over. This is not a good cop versus bad cop situation. This is intentionally happening. Former Chicago police officer Jason Van Dyke walked out of prison around midnight Thursday after serving just three years and three months behind bars. If you are not standing with us, you are against us. We demand justice. His early release sparking outrage. This cause is righteous. <laughs> In response, protesters gathered at the federal courthouse. Nine people, now calling themselves the Laquan Nine, were arrested by U.S. Marshals. We were nonviolent. Jason Van Dyke, it took a whole movement to get him behind bars, and they still let him out early. And we chanted with our arms locked. We stood together, and we were arrested immediately. Oh. The court issued all nine defendants citations for loitering in violation of local court rules. They were released last night and must be in court again virtually Tuesday. We are willing to sacrifice our freedom in the name of justice. <laughs> During the first week of Black History Month, many of the community organizers say they were compelled to show up yesterday to be on the right side of history to finish a fight that was started eight years ago. Today, I have a 17 year old boy. Mm, come on now. And I will be damned if I will stand by and let these organizers, let these community members put themselves out there without me standing with them. We believe in our hearts and we have faith that God is going to give us justice for Laquan McDonald. We believe that. They say in addition to federal charges against Van Dyke, they want systemic change. And to do that, they need others to step up with them in what they are calling a second wave of the civil rights movement with direct action, nonviolence, and electoral action. Black lives matter to everybody when it's popular and when it's trending on Twitter and social media, but when it's not benign when some stuff has cooled down, they're nowhere to be found. The Department of Justice actually started investigating Jason Van Dyke way back in 2014. That was before the video of what happened with Laquan McDonald was even released to the public. Uh, local politicians and national politicians earlier this week have asked the feds for an update on where that investigation stands. We're live tonight in the loop. Megan Dwyer, WGN News. Thank you, Megan.